So before you can eat it, before you grow it, you have to seed it. Let me show you how I seed mine. Next, stay tuned. Hey guys, um, so today we're gonna uh, seed. All right, so um, I'm getting to the point where my with my NFT system, my lettuce system, that I um, I'm kind of gauging now the right way or how many to actually grow um, so that it, it suits us. All right. So today is the start of experimentation. So I'm gonna, you know, I've been trying to do seeds uh, that were mostly lettuce, right? So that you know I could get that going. Um, so today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do um, spinach. I'm gonna try that, and I'm gonna do a little bit more of my red sail here that has been uh, doing well. Because what I found out is the production in the greenhouse has slowed a, a bit. You know, um, I think uh, we're hitting July right now. We're, we're what the fifteenth, mid, mid middle of July. So the days are really warm and uh, lettuce being a more of a cold uh, uh, weather crop. You know, it um, it slowed down quite a bit. All right, so um, so I'm using. So, so yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit more just to pad me up uh, for the next couple of weeks. So anyway, uh, so I'm using those little uh, rock wool cube, all right? One and a half, uh, one and a quarter these guys are. I used to do the one and a half, but if you recall from my NFT system, you know, we'll look up the, uh, when we built it, um, I drilled one and a half inch holes in my gutter uh, downspout. Which meant that when I'm inserting that one and a half inch cube, it takes a lot of room, you know, and it, it's kind of difficult to manipulate. My fingers don't fit in the hole anymore, whatever. So the, the one and a quarter here is just right for me to, to put it in and, and it, does, it does the job, all right? Um, if you haven't found those, you know, I'll put the link in the description so you can uh, get yours, all right? So... What I do with these, and you can see the picture, all right, I've basically taken them dry, and I have a two-stage filtration system on my sink, all right, uh, for water, for drinking water. And what that does, removes all the chemical, you know, chlorine and all that. So I don't pre-treat mine, okay, because uh, a lot of people are saying that these are uh, not pH neutral, okay, and, and you need to pre-treat them with a little bit of acid to bring the... Uh, pH down a little bit to, to, to neutral to where they like to be. But what I found is that when I don't use um, tap water, when I use my filtered water, it um, because there's no chemical, it, it's more than, than suitable for the lettuce I grow. All right, so that's what I do. All right, so we have two types of, um, two types of seed here. All right, we have the, the, the ones from Johnny's here. Um, are palletized and I'll bring you in closer so you can see what that is and what I'm going to do with it. Uh, the tools I use to seed, you know, because these are really tiny little seed. Uh, toothpick. I always like to have a um, white surface to work on, so a little um, uh, paper towel there uh, works just fine. That way I can just put the seeds on there and, 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 and find them quickly. And what I do with the toothpick is that I dip it in a little bit of water that's at the bottom here, and, and that makes the seed stick to the toothpick, and I just put them in the holes, all right? Um, yeah, so let me bring you in closer so we can see what we're doing. All right, so let's start with the red sail here. So I only need four of them. You know, I don't... I don't double seed uh, these these things. There's there's really no need. As you can see, those are tiny little little seeds. So I wet my toothpick, grab one, drop it, and squish it in. All right.
and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here but I'm trying to um, put it on the side here right and and I drag it down that way drag the toothpick along that way I know that it's well you know positioned all right well, let me put those back in all right that's for the red sail and as you saw those were um, real seeds you know and what I mean by that uh, we'll see in a second here so these are spinach okay so I'll just take four of them okay same principle though right so I take the seed although this one's a little bigger maybe I can just drop it there but that's what happens Alright, so I'm going to put it there, but I'm going to push it in with the toothpick. Alright, so like I told you guys, this is an experiment right now. I think I'm going to have good success, you know, because I mean, so far this NFT system has been really awesome, right? So, there we go. And yeah so one of the reason i don't put necessarily a lot of seeds here okay because these guys have had good success their new seed uh, but when you buy your seeds let's say from johnny's here okay they put this little label on because this is not a just a regular seed this is actually what they call a pelletized seed all right so the seed is buried in that little cocoon there all right and around it are all sorts of stuff to make the seed uh, do better. So this one is the Azurka, all right? So again, it's big enough. I'm just going to put it into the hole. And I'm going to finish it with the toothpick. Just enlarge the hole a little bit. Boom. All right. And the cool thing about these these things, as you can see, germination 99%. They tested it the, um, March 22nd, right? So, yeah, these you put one, it grows. Okay, it's basically um, I haven't had one yet that didn't germinate. All right, so so I like that. <laughs> they tell me that I don't have to put two there. I'm not gonna. You know, it's one of those things. You know, I uh, it's kind of a heartbreaking to thin what you've worked so hard to um, grow you know it's like why would I why would I sacrifice half the harvest here but you know I understand why I but, you know if I don't have to do it I don't and in this case I haven't had to do it at all so I'm very happy about it all right normally you know you would want to uh, maybe identify what they are but the seedlings you know as soon as they start germinating look different enough that it's very simple to understand which is which all right so i put this on all right and i'm going to put it in the greenhouse follow me all right so i'm going to leave them there to germinate and um you know, I'll, I'll take you along for the ride here. So I'll, I'm going to keep my eye on this, on this every week. I'm going to do an update video on them so you can see how well uh, this is doing. All right. Just as a quick update. So you see this one is starting to bolt here because it's too warm. Okay. So this is more of a butter crunch type lettuce. So it's pretty large. All right. I have three left. These are the Azurka. All right. And the... Um, don't remember the name anyway I'll put it up here all right so these are about ready to eat uh, I would say right little seedlings here are about two weeks so as you can see the quite a bit slower in in, in their growth and there were noise you're hearing right now is so yeah we're sucking air so I'm gonna have to take care of that you know you have my maintenance video that I have to do every weekend for Saturday morning clockwork all right <laughs> all right guys so um this is what i do for seedlings all right and uh, yeah i'll keep you posted see you next week bye <laughs>